greetings my beautiful lovelies it's emmy how are you it's great to see you and welcome back today i'm going to be tasting something that appeared on tiktok almost a year ago now back in march 2020 and it is nature's cereal this first appeared on the TikTok account Nature's Food. Wayne Mears introduces what he calls Nature's Cereal and basically it's fruit and coconut water mixed together and eaten as you would eat cereal right out of the bowl with a spoon. Now what really blew this up was Lizzo. She tried this, she added a couple other different fruits and just raved about it. When I first heard about this, I said, yes, I'm sure that's gonna be absolutely delicious, but I couldn't find pomegranates, which is what Shawane uses mostly in his version of Nature's Cereal. So I'm here today to taste it now. We're on the last little bit of pomegranate season. Pomegranates come in late fall. They're one of my favorite fruits, my family's favorite fruits. My children have loved them since they were little tiny, tiny, just eating solid food babies, but they're beautiful. But a lot of people don't know how to open them. I do have a very old video on how I show a couple different ways how to open a pomegranate, how to harvest the little seeds or aerials inside. But I thought I'd go ahead and review that today. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a bowl of nature cereal. So first thing we're gonna need are a couple pomegranates and let me grab a cutting board. So I believe the etymology for pomegranate is French. Pom means apple and granite part comes from grenade. So this is an apple grenade and based on its shape, it's a very logical name. And there are a couple ways to open them. My favorite way, and I think the fastest way in my opinion, is simply to cut the pomegranate in half like this. Oh, I love, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. See that pattern of five fingers of seeds or aerials inside. Now, some people don't like to eat the seeds whole. I do. I don't mind the texture. Some people don't like that middle part. It's a bit woody. I love it. I love how they burst. I love that little bite. So some people choose to just juice pomegranate aerials, but I absolutely adore them when it's pomegranate season. We buy these all the time, and I think you should too, but a lot of people don't know how to open them. So look, look like it's look like I was bleeding. It looks like I'm like an ax murderer, but I'm not. It's just pomegranate juice. <laughs> so this is the method I use the most. Cut it in half, then I turn the pomegranate upside down in my hand, and I take a spoon, a large one, and I just beat it. Just beat the heck out of it, like this, and all the aerials just fall out. It just pops right out of their little casings and right into my bowl. And it's also very fun. The kids love to do this. I like to do this. You do get a little bit of these membranous pieces right here, but I just pick those out. But you can also float the aerials in some water and the little waxy pieces will float to the top. So that's another way to remove them, but I just quickly use my fingers and pick those out like that. And there you have it. Beautiful pomegranate seeds ready to be eaten. Now, and look, look how it does such a great job in removing the seeds. Of course, you would beat the side a little bit more to get the rest of them, but in a matter of seconds, you have pomegranate seeds. So let me rinse off my hands and show you another method. So another method uses the physiology of the pomegranate. So if you look at the pomegranate, this is the blossom side. And you'll see that although it looks round, there are some ridges here. Do you see that? There's ridges right here, right here, here, here. If you look closely, you can see them. On the thumbnail to Shawane's video, he has this beautiful kind of open pomegranate. And that's very, very eye appealing. And cutting the pomegranate this way will reveal that beautiful structure inside. So what you do is you cut one of the ends off right here. Make sure you go all the way to reveal some of the seeds, like that. And then you can see perhaps the ridges a little bit better. Here and here, here. Now you're going to take your knife and follow the cut right along the edge, just to go through the skin like that. So here's another ridge. I'm just gonna score right through that. Okay, so like that. See how I've scored that? beautiful geometry. And then we just take our fingers in there and just crack it open 
right along those seams just to separate each little wedge. I love that sound. And then when you open it, it reveals all of the beautiful aerials inside. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. So you'll see here these, this kind of waxy skin. And just peel that back. It comes off in just one little layer there. It almost looks like honeycomb. And then you'll see the beautiful aerials inside. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then you would use your thumb to rub these out. And that's another beautiful way to harvest the seeds from the pomegranate. Honestly, this is very beautiful, but I find just cutting the pomegranate in half the fastest method and the one that I use most. There are other methods as well, but these are the two that I use the most. Alrighty, lovelies. Now let's finally give this a taste. Now Sherwain's version of nature cereal is like this. Pomegranates, lots of them. To the bottom of my bowl. Oh gosh, I could just eat these right now. So we have a beautiful bowl of pomegranates, seeds, and now we're going to add some blueberries and blackberries. I have some raspberries for Lizzo's version later, but I'm gonna try the original one first. Blackberries. I mean, come on. Yes, already. Gorgeous, right? And then we're gonna add some coconut water. Now, Shawane, of course, is just using a fresh coconut, slicing off the top and just pouring it out of the coconut. I unfortunately don't have fresh coconut here in New England, but I do have coconut water that comes in a bottle. So we'll be using that. This one happens to be pink. Apparently they add something to the coconut water to keep it from turning pink. I never knew that it naturally turned pink. I haven't had a coconut water in a long time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like coconut, surprisingly. I used to drink these all the time when I used to do hot yoga. After hot yoga, I would have a coconut water sometimes. And yeah, it's very refreshing. It has a light sweetness, but to me, it's more nutty. Mm -hmm. Nutty. And it has a viscosity to it. it, has a little bit of body. It's very similar to electric light water, like a Gatorade or Powerade or something like that. It has like a thickness. It's a little bit thicker than water. And this is the water inside of a fresh coconut. It's not the coconut milk, which is actually made from the shredded coconut. That is water is added and then squeezed. That's what gives us that coconut cream and that coconut milk that we use in desserts and all kinds of lovely things. But yes, very quenching and refreshing. Now we're going to pour this right over our cereal. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at this. So beautiful. That water, the milk part is pink. Oh my gosh. How can that not be good? Alrighty, let's give this a taste. I want a bite of everything. Blackberry too. Alrighty, here we go. Eat the hockey mouse. It's so delicious, but I think what's most delightful about this are the textures that happen in your mouth. You get that great, glorious popping sensation of the pomegranate seeds. You get the juicy blueberries, and then you've got these great big blackberries that have tiny seeds in them themselves that give you a little bit of a crunch in there as well. And then, of course, you've got this broth or milk or coconut water that kind of binds everything together, making it, in terms of an experience, feel like cereal because you're eating everything with a spoon. It's nice and cold and chilled, and it is delicious. Mm. A delightful combination. Now, I've had all of these fruits before, 
None of these fruits are new to me and they might not be new to you either, but this combination with the coconut water and eating it in a spoon out of a bowl, I have never done before and it is fantastic. I love it. Mm -hmm. Now, there was a lot of hype built up around this and of course Lizzo raved about it. But she's right. It is absolutely delightful, fun, tasty, delicious. No added sugars in here. We're just eating beautiful nature's bounty. And it is delicious. But I think most importantly for me is the play of textures in here. It's just like an explosion of juiciness and textures in your mouth. So good. Let's make a Lizzo version where there are some raspberries and some strawberries because of course, make this your own. Whatever fruits you've got around, these of course are berries. Pomegranate's not considered a berry, but they're full of antioxidants, all those wonderful things that nibble up free radicals. And I think any fruit that is in season would really work well. Although pomegranate seeds are just so delightful. They just explode in your mouth. Now we've got raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and Lizzo adds some ice to make it chilly. I mean, look, how gorgeous is that? Alrighty, let's try Lizzo's version with the raspberries and strawberries. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, so great. Okay, make sure it fits in my mouth, there we go. Mm. so good. I am such a strawberry girl. Oh yeah. Fresh strawberries, coconut water. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. This is actually way better than I was expecting it to be. I mean, I love fruit. I eat fruit every day. I have it in my oatmeal every morning like a boring old person, but this is so alive and chill and calm and just bright and just makes your face and life, it just, it just, you can't help but smile. Mm. Love it, absolutely love it. So there you have it, nature cereal. Sherman Mears knows what he's talking about. Lizzo, of course, knows what she's talking about. If you got a bunch of fruit, we got some coconut water, chill everything down, put it all together, and you're in for a really tasty treat. Mm. Mm -hmm. I will say that I think it's really important that you do this with fresh fruit rather than frozen fruit. I don't think you'll have the textural experience that you would have with fresh fruit as opposed to frozen fruit. Flavors, of course, will be similar, but there's something about that juicy succulence that happens with all these different textures and fruits. All right, my lovelies, there you have it. That is nature's cereal, totally 100% up to the hype. Highly suggest you try it. And if there are any other TikTok recipes or recipes you'd like me to test out or try, let me know down in the comments below or contact me via social media, and I would love to hear about them. Alrighty, my lovelies. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out my website. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Biting in the ice cube, you know? That wasn't what I was expecting. Maybe crushed ice would be better. Yes, a little bit of crushed ice as opposed to big, big old chunks might be better for your teeth. Alrighty. Mmm. Mmm.